I did a 90 minute declutter of my wardrobe not that long ago. What has happened since then? A wee update for you. So let's dive in. Diane and Denmark here. Ra ra ra. Yes, we are back. Well, once again in my wardrobe. A little update for you. And I thought this was a good week to do it. It is Fly Lady Zone 4, which is the master bedroom. Now that's for our detailed cleaning and decluttering. If you want the body doubling videos, I'll put a link to my playlist there. But we're talking about my wardrobe today. I've made some changes, let go of more stuff since I did that huge mega declutter. And for those of you who haven't kind of checked in with me for a while, uh, I'm decluttering towards a new life. Hubby and I, we've gone through some big changes recently. Uh, also, I lost my mum uh, over the course of the summer. Uh, but anyway, let me give you a little update. So in, in here, in the main section of the wardrobe, uh, I'm really enjoying having lots of space. On the bottom rack, I've got items which are set up uh, for wearing soon or things which are going to be tried out. This is one of the tops from our most recent swap party. And in this section of the wardrobe, this is where I keep my things, uh, my trousers, which I hang upside down, the more formal trousers. I've got my evening wear, things like that. Uh, down at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, do you remember I was talking about shoes and I had all those shoes in the basement? Well, let me show you. I discovered that I can actually put my shoes in here. And first of all, I just put the shoes, uh, my summer shoes and sandals. And then I thought, oh, it looked a bit messy. So I got one of these um, from Germany, online in Germany. I think it was Amazon. Uh, one of these shoe boxes. And I thought it was really handy because, as I said, I'm decluttering towards a new life. Hubby and I were hopefully getting an apartment next year. And I, I don't know why people always say, are, are you going to be renting? No, we're buying an apartment in the city. Um, Anyway, I thought this was a really good way to store them because they're kind of stored out of the way. These are, you know, my sandals and summer, summer shoes that I'm not going to be wearing for a while. But I can kind of zip them in there. Um, it keeps them uh, dust free. And also, you know, I could put them out of the way like that or you could have them if you want to display your shoes. So I just thought that that was um, a, a really good idea because when we move, I can just carry the whole lot to the next, um, the next place that we're living. And otherwise, everything is still kind of neat and tidy. So I'm pleased with that. And I've also got another pair of shoes that I can let go of because these loafers, I've had them for years. They were originally silver, painted them gold with leather paint. Then this spring painted them white with leather paint. It, it, it doesn't uh, can come off in the uh, Danish rain or snow. But I wore them the other day and I've decided, you know, I really don't like loafers. I, 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 for me, they're, they're just kind of, um, they're, they're too kind of manly on me. They, they don't suit, uh, they don't suit my body shape or my style. So those ones I'm ready to let go of. And I, I, I'm finding it so useful to have my style words. My, my new style words are chic, colourful and cool. Cool as in hip. And I decided for uh, colourful rather than bright because I really need quite a lot of colour in my outfits or coloured nails. Uh, I like a, a bold uh, coloured lip. And a little update about the skirt. Remember, this is the only skirt that I have. And I said, oh, it would be so nice if this was a pair of trousers because I really like uh, jumpsuits. I don't really have, I don't have any winter dresses. And the, the next day, my friend Jen, you know, my friend Jen in the UK, she said, Diane, I saw, I saw spa sparkly uh, trousers in Asda. Asda is a, a supermarket. And, you know, it's just so funny because I was thinking, you know, if I could get a pair of trousers. So guess what? Sparkly trousers seem to be all the rage at the moment. And I got this pair online uh, also in uh, Germany. You're probably fine. If you're looking for sparkly trousers, just start Googling. You'll, you'll find something. I actually got three or four pairs to try. And these ones, these work out really well. They're high waisted, nice bright blue. And I'm really <laughs> going to look forward to wearing these in party season. So 
the blue sparkly skirt can go and in come the blue sparkly trousers. And while we're talking about trousers or pants, one of the items that I had on probation were these um, leather trousers, which were black and I did them brown. And I tried them on and actually they still fit really well. And the, the ones that I'm wearing today, let me just show you. Uh, these came from a swap. I love these ones. I think they're Zara and they were black. They've got the elasticated waist. Um, I, I really love these ones. The other ones are a different fit. They're more of a, um, um, a tapered leg. But I tried them on and, and they're great, especially the days that in the winter I'm out on my bike and it's maybe snowing or raining, you know, it just comes right off. So my project for the next couple of weeks is to get some more blue leather paint and I'm going to paint those navy blue. But there is more going to our next swap party. This is the bag that I keep in the bottom of my wardrobe. So anytime I find things that I'm not using or loving, they're going to the swap. And also I went through my jewellery uh, one more time. A couple of pairs of earrings, I've just put them on a wee card so they don't kind of get lost in the mix for the, the swap. A kilt pin, I don't have a kilt anymore. I'm never going to use a kilt pin. And if you're wondering, oh, but maybe I might use this or I've got a whole list of clutter questions that, you know, if, if, I, if I didn't have uh, these earrings, are there, are there some other pair that I could use? Yeah, you know, alternatives. Have you got multiples? Are you keeping it for a fantasy life that you have? Uh, anyway, I shall link a link to that video. This, this is one a piece of jewellery, Scottish jewellery. I know what, I, I got it as a gift. <laughs> ne never really liked it, never wore it. Uh, and I've still got the wee box for it. So, you know, maybe one of the ladies at our next swap will enjoy that. Because the next swap we're having, we're doing it like kind of clear out your, your wardrobe, bring along the kind of sparkly stuff that you are not wearing. Maybe uh, the, the ladies will find their next um, festive outfit or some, uh, maybe some sparkly nail varnish. I'm talking about sparkly nail varnish. Are you, have you started the Christmas planning with me? You know, the minimalist uh, Christmas, we are saving money, saving stress. The videos have started for that. You can go and look for them. Right, so those are for the bag for the swap. And also a box that I had for uh, jewellery. That's all cleaned out. That can go to the swap. This top that I got from Sue at the last swap, I haven't tr had a chance to try that yet. So that's uh, still kind of on probation. But I was thinking it might look really nice with one of my flower brooches. And, and these are just brooches. They, they were actually hair ones. Uh, that I, I stuck on a, a safety pin. So I was thinking that might be quite nice and it is in this season's colour, which is black cherry with my nice uh, pearl jewellery. So I'm, I'm thinking I will be able to try that soon. Parties starting up. Okay, next items are some scarves that I bought back from Mums. And these have a bit of a sentimental uh, tie for me. Uh, not that mum really wore them much, but they came from the company that I used to work in Edinburgh. My first job at George Harrison and Company was in woolen merchants. And we sold um, cloth to tailors, the best tailors around the world. And also we had some production of uh, scarves, wool scarves, and also cashmere scarves. So many of mum's things went to the charity shop. You know, my brother and I, we, we cleared cleared out mum's house and I'll be talking about that in other videos when I'm <laughs> ready to, I'm still kind of grieving a bit at the moment but I'll, I'll talk about that at, at some point. Uh, there we are, 100% cashmere and this is not colours that I would wear, the kids didn't want them but uh, I'm going to ask some of my friends because I was thinking maybe Vibica would like that one, she likes the softer colours, could be a type 2 in Dressing Your Truth, type 3, I, I'm a type 1, 4 in Dressing Your Truth. This one I'm going to keep because it is a nice bright colour. It's um, kind of like a, a very dark red verging onto purple. I'm going to keep that for the moment. It may be decluttered at some point, but actually goes really well with my uh, dark lipsticks. And this one I had been considering keeping, but um, I wouldn't use it. So this one can also go to one of my friends. Yeah, and this one is 100% lamb's wool gosh that takes me back my first job 
in Edinburgh in Fourth Street. Uh, and my boss, uh, Cameron Buchanan, he died sadly uh, last year. Uh, I'm still in touch with my other boss, Sir David, from the Court of Justice in Luxembourg. Anyway, so I'm going to keep this one and those two are going to Friends. Oh, and stuff that has already gone to Friends. Let, let me just sit down and get my list. I had several items that went to the swap or to Friends. And the, do you remember the heart blouse that I had with the little, um, it was white with red hearts. I've had it for years, but it just wasn't me and it wasn't fitting with my, my style words. My friend Jen, who was here last weekend uh, from the UK, she wanted that and she took it. And also she took a coral sweater that I had in probation. And the coral sweater, it just wasn't working for me. There were too many things. I just didn't feel like a, like a nine out of 10. So Jen took both of those. My friend uh, Holly from... Uh, Duluth, is that how you pr pronounce it uh, in, in the States? Uh, she took several of my blazers and you know what? She looks absolutely fabulous in them. So that was fantastic that Holly took my blazers. My friend Helena, you know, my bestie Helena, she is in love with the, the silk scarf that I had. You know, the one that I got for organizing the visit of uh, HRH, uh, Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Anne to my workplace in, in Edinburgh. She, Helena was delighted with that and I thought, why didn't I think of giving it to Helena before? Because they are perfect type three colors. Helena is a type three, two in Dressing Your Truth. Oh, and I told you that Sue took the green jumpsuit. She's also made a little alteration to the straps so that's more her style. So she got that, Sue is a type three, four. And there are probably more things that I, I forgot about, but just, I just love being able to pass on things that I am not using to somebody else. I hope you'll do the same. Uh, and, and a wee update, do you remember I did a, a declutter where I decluttered like 90% of our Halloween <laughs> decorations. I took them along to our, my uh, Blue Tits Chill Swimmers group on Saturday. And the ladies went crazy over the stuff because there's a couple of ladies who have just arrived recently um, in Copenhagen. They didn't bring all their decorating stuff from the States and they, they basically took most of what was in that box. <laughs> and in true uh, Danish style, they were on the, the cargo bike and they took the, the whole lot. So, you know, just decluttering can bring us so much joy. We make somebody else happy, we make space and, and we, we really just keep the things that we, we need and love. OK, so that as always, that's my message to you. I hope you will like and subscribe, share my videos. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. I don't do any sponsored content. Don't put any annoying ads in the middle of my videos. So you can help me. If you want to help me, that's the best way to do it. Subscribe and share. And uh, I hope I will see you again soon for the, the Christmas stuff. Lots more uh, Christmas prep coming at you. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. And may the uh, Huga wardrobe decluttering be with you with a rah, rah, rah. Okay, bye for now.